Oof, tough. How many more kingdoms die for you? Bruh, you're about to kill her. You nasty. What's up, nasty cast? It's your man behind the cam director here with another Ruby reaction. Volume 5, Chapter 13, Downfall. In the last reaction, yeah, we got our minds blown. Absolutely kicked to the curb and stomped on right out of our dome pieces. Because, surprise, Vernal is not the Spring Maiden. It's Raven. I have a lot of questions about it. You know what I mean? Um, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm going to be honest. You know what I'm assuming happened? Exactly what Cinder did. Raven found the Spring Maiden, maiden murdered her, took the Maiden powers. Honestly, not surprising. Makes a little bit of sense, if you really think about it, kind of. <sighs> but either way, it's in very safe hand. I feel so much better. I feel so much better about Raven being the Spring Maiden than Vernal. Because here's my thing, right? At the end of the day, what was Raven's true objective? If she's a Spring Maiden, right? In my mind, she could have waxed all these. No, they would have just kept coming after her. She needs to get it at the source. I caught up. Thank you. Sometimes you just got to talk to yourself, right? Uh, moving forward. No, not moving forward. Weiss, as I said, is going to be okay. Uh, we see Jean's semblance finally shows itself. And it seems like he could just heal people. Top tier healer, man. And I'm, I'm glad. I think he has a, that's a decent semblance. You know what I mean? Like, that's real handy. Especially if he could use it on himself. Imagine his durability in battle. Like, somebody's, like, stabbing him and cutting him up. And he's just auto-healing. Like, that's basically, like, an extra aura. Like, a, a, a plate of armor on top of your armor under your aura. It's like, yo, you're, you're pretty tanky at that point. And it's good for him because he's close to close combat. See, I'm already thinking of how he could use it and stuff, but I don't know. We'll see. And we need to get Weiss back in this fight because we got a 2v2 on one side. Uh, we got Crow who just got bodied, slapped up to the roof by Hazel. And Ospin's trying to hold his own. And yeah, we've divulged into pure and utter chaos. And we need every player we can get back into this fight. With that being said, if you made it this far and you haven't already, go ahead, drop a sub on the channel. Sub. Drop a sub on the channel. Drop a like on the video. We turn out three reactions a week at minimum. So make sure you hit the bell for post notice. If you want to catch on live on Twitch every Monday and Friday, 7 p.m. Eastern, check the description for the Twitch link and, of course, the Patreon link where you find uncut, unreleased anime reactions. Ruby, Rhyme 5, Chapter 13 reaction coming up next. Hey, just a quick thank you to all the subs on the channel. You members of the Nasty cast are the driving force that makes all this possible. Catch Director Nasty on Reddit, Patreon, and all other socials in the description below with links. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks again. <coughs> so in a quick recap, yeah, Raven's a damn spring maiden. The hell? Vernal, sorry you had to die. Uh, things are looking bad. Glad that we know Weiss is okay. Dope that we found out Jean's semblance. You know, he can use it to heal people. Hopefully, he could use it on himself. He could be like tanky. You know what I mean? That'd be fire too. You know, um, Crow is in battle with Hazel and Ozpin. Ruby and Yang are in a 2v2. And yeah, we need Weiss back ASAP. So I'm, I'm, I'm just hoping, you know, Raven is about to murder Cinder. Yeah, I said it. I want her to. But if she doesn't, I still understand. It is what it is. I just want it to be a good fight. And I still want to know, comment down below, unless it's a spoiler, what the hell is Hazel's power? What are those crystals he's stabbing into his forearms? Uh oh. What are you going to do next? <laughs> yeah! Whatever it takes to shut you up. Hey, she ain't throw hands, but at least she head butted him. I think so. She's coming too. I bet this is the good factor. 
Yo, me too. Facts. How else do you think you're healing her, dummy? He really didn't realize this. He really didn't realize it. I don't blame him though. Cause that's crazy. No. But I don't think I'm healing her. My aura feels too hot. It feels it feels more like I'm using my aura to amplify hers. Aww. Aren't you worried about running out? Pierre once told me I've got a lot of Bruh. Eesh. Damn, that's a smack and a half. Oh, and you can shoot lightning? I was ready for that. I took a heavy hit. You need to stay with me while the others fight. That's annoying. Uh, uh. Oh, it's a 3v2. I forgot Lion. Lion booty is there like that. Oof. Tough. Bruh, you're about to kill her. Oh, wait. It's lightning. I'm wrong. Perfect counter. Oh, so much dust into his body. that is dust. Semblance where he could take pain, direct inject dust. Get her. Oh, my God. Hell yeah. Oh, shit. Adam's out there. Yeah. Bro, everybody's like on their last shit too. This is not bueno. Stay focused. Our friends are almost done here. Adam. Blake? Who is that? Yes. Let's go! To think that I went through so much trouble to find you, only to have you deliver yourself to me. You're so cocky. This isn't what's right for the Fonix. Stop what you're doing. Wow, these subs are so bad. I'm gonna turn that shit off. That's embarrassing. And you can't stop us. No, I can't. Furnace. <laughs> Not by myself. That's why we didn't come alone. Brothers and sisters. Here to fuck you up. Martha? Oh, literally. Stop this. Oh, literally, your brothers and sisters. Oh, shit. I was not ready for it. brothers. These are our enemies, and we will not let them ruin. Bruh, they brought the whole crew. Look at Mama Belladonna looking all cute in the chopper. Bro, this was going so bad. The Belladonna single handedly just saved everybody's collective ass. Better. Much better. Keep it up. <laughs> what a stupid ass question. And it's Ooh. over for all of us. Hey, wait. Huh? What are you 
doing? Trying to get us all killed? I am making humanity pay for what they've done! We sent someone over to confirm your explosives. And once we did, she disarmed them. Yes! She did the right thing. you Adam it's over got him chop his ass <laughs> let that be the last thing your ass sees uh Y'all really started shooting anyways? Oh, damn. Oh, hell yeah. It's happening. I got goosebumps. Payback. Oh, wait. Oh, she said, fuck it, take it. A decoy the whole time. The last brain maiden must have trusted you a great deal before she died. I bet that was a mistake. That was a fucking gangster. She shot the sword and then shot after it. That was dope. Yeah. I fully expect Raven to murder Cinder in this fight. I don't expect it to be close, but it might be. Aura can't protect your arm. It's grim. You turned yourself into a monster just for power. Look who's talking. What's that supposed to mean? Yo, this is looking freaking good. Yo, yeah, Raven's definitely messing her weapons up. Yo, these maidens are literally floating. Oh, shit. They swapped, I didn't realize it. Oh, this is getting dangerous as fuck, bruh. The Spring Maiden uses ice powers? Damn. Oh, shit. I didn't think about that. She could suck the powers. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. She barely survived that. Damn, bro. Oh, that's fire. 
Oh shit. Cut her off. Yeah, there you go. Ooh, that was good. Oh no. Had enough yet? Shut up. If you were stronger or more clever, then maybe you'd remember to watch your back. Oh, that's it. Claps. Oh, that's on some Minato shit, bro. That's exactly how that exactly how Obito got his back blown in by the fourth. That was nice. Can you absorb her powers? Oh, that's what she did. Is she dead dead? Yo, he, she was that girl basically as a human puppet, bro. As a human bodyguard, legitimately. Like, this girl walked around knowing she wasn't the Spring Maiden, too. The bravest always die, bro. That's the thing about Raven. She's alive because she's not. I don't think she's as brave as she claims to be. My thing, right? For me, it's why get this relic? Why get the relic though? I don't know what you're playing at, Raven. Yo, so that was volume five, chapter 13, Downfall. And it sure as hell was. Ironically, her name is Cinder Fall and she fell to her death if she's dead. Personally, I really hope she's dead. She, she was such a good baddie though. Five volumes of Cinder, I think this is a worthy ending for her if this is how she went down. Uh, I have a lot of questions, not so much um, about anything that really happened in the chapter. The chapter was pretty straightforward, right? Uh, Weiss is alive, saves the day. Uh, the Belladonnas, the true heroes, showing up with the Faunus to stop Adam Torres. Uh, Ilya gets her full heel to face turn by being the one to prevent Adam from committing a mass murder, which is blowing up the entire area. Yeah, he had no regard for anybody's life, including his own, which speaks a lot to his conviction, but at the same time speaks a lot to his conviction. If you heard the two ways that I said that, you know exactly what I mean, right? So it's one of those moments where it's like, all right, cool. You're defeated, right? No, of course they open fire and still want to throw hands until the bitter end. I think it's interesting that the White Fang is not an official part of the main bad guys group. They're be literally being used by the main bad guys group. If there's any moment for Adam to realize that he is currently and actively being used, that was it. Hazel looked at him, he's like, what do you want me to do about it? That's your problem. You said you had this handled. That's not my problem. My problem's inside. And yeah, Adam's gonna just gonna have to deal with the consequences because it's one of those things where if he fails but escapes and makes it back to Salem, it's not gonna be good news. If he fails and doesn't escape, then he's locked up forever. So it's a lose-lose for him, which it should be because, I mean, let's be honest, he's a horrible, horrible person. Sienna Khan did nothing wrong! <laughs> I'm just mad because Sienna was, was a very likable character, to be frank. Um, with that being said, yeah, at the end, Epic battle, 
animation was dope. I see they put work in because it was graphically beautiful just watching this fight happen. The elemental powers picking up and uh, just evolving over time. Bigger, better weapons. They're throwing fireballs, ice crystals, hitting super speeds. The choreography beautiful as always. I mean, it just looks so much more crisp as these volumes go on. Which it should, ideally, of course, you know, right? But like, just to see the jump from volume one to volume five, and it's continually jumping every volume. So I'm interested to see where we end up in the next in the next couple chapters. Uh, with that being said, uh, it seems like the end of Fall of Haven is about thwarted, honestly. My big question that I was talking about earlier that I completely skipped over is what is Raven doing, right? So hear me out. Objectively speaking, she knows what Salem wants, right? Salem wants the relic. She doesn't want to work for Salem. So by that means, if she defeats Cinder, she's a spring maiden. Nobody there is going to understand or know what happened or know she's a spring maiden. She can just leave the vault, right? She could just leave. She doesn't have to get the relic. But she's intentionally opening the vault to go get the relic. For what purpose? Does she believe this is the last leverage that she needs? That's that's my only question for it. Don't, don't tell me if it's going to be revealed. You know, no spoilers. I'll figure it out. But yeah, that's that's my big thing right now. I'm like, why? Hmm? What is the grand purpose beside be, behind her actually getting the relic? And that's all I'm interested to know. Is this a full turn to Salem? Or is this a, if I have it, they have to respect me kind of moment? Um, I don't think either one is gonna be much better than the other. So we're, I guess we're just gonna see and find out. If you made it this far and you haven't already, go ahead, drop a sub on the channel, drop a like on the video, hit the bell for post notice because we post content three times a week and you don't want to miss out. If you want to catch it, I'm live on Twitch every Monday and Friday, 7 p.m. Eastern. Check the description for the Twitch link and of course the Patreon link below where you can find uncut and unreleased anime reactions. I'm your man behind the cam and as always, stay nasty, y'all. You nasty.